So the second thing was this idea of building something using two man teams to problem solve. They had to take a box of Legos and then literally this little Lego box is ages in bold black six to 12. You're gonna crush this. All you have to do is follow directions, put the little Lego plane together and then run down and do 11 burpees, run back and reassemble it. Here's the kicker. If you use the directions to reassemble it, you have a five minute penalty. We don't want the instructions. To watch these quarterbacks try to figure out how to build this tiny little plane was absolutely hilarious. <sighs> Legos. <laughs> oh, what the, what'd you do, bro? I have absolutely no idea. My whole life, like, I've, I've loved doing Legos. My grandma used to buy them for me. Me and Jet had some trouble doing the Legos. You guys ran yet? No. We messed up the whole frame. We took it all apart, and then we were like, wait. Ah! Legos, man. My little brother was here. He would uh, have got it done in two minutes. I'm not much of a Lego guy, so it was pretty tough. Man, that was the one thing I messed up. The Legos part was probably the hardest part for me. It was me and Jake, and first time we did it, we were good. So we came back, we were like, we were feeling proud of ourselves. We were like, oh yeah, we're gonna get this. We are like, yeah, we don't need the instructions. And we didn't finish. It was awful. They were challenged to use their minds, use some teamwork, communicate with one another, which they find so difficult. It was just really cool to watch. The team that won, by the way, they won by 10 seconds and they took the five minute penalty and used the directions. I never really liked Legos, but I might have to start playing with Legos with my nephew just in case in the future I have to do it again. I wanna be very clear on what we're doing next, okay? Each of your groups, you've got what's called a litter. So if someone's wounded, you open this litter up and you carry them, right? You're gonna choose one person. You're gonna go down to the end zone with the person in there, okay? You're gonna come back with the person in here. After that, you got this trusty 50 feet of rope. Your job is gonna be to affix a knot to this water jug. Then as a team, you're gonna move this thing all the way down to the end of the field and back, but here's the catch. Whoever is in contact with the rope has got to be basically either on their knees or on their backside. If you were touching the rope, you had to have four points of contact. So there's a lot of tactics to this. And it was for 30 minutes, as many down and back as you could go. Ready, go! Let's go, team! Let's go, baby! Oh! It was definitely the hardest I've ever been tested in my entire life. You really have one or two options, whether you're gonna suck it up, give it your all, or whether you're gonna act like you're tired. Your true personality really comes out when things aren't going right. KJ Costello didn't flinch. Jake Zembeck didn't flinch. And you saw some players, Dylan Sterling Cole, for instance, who struggled a little bit. I don't want you to tap out when it gets hard on the football field. You're jumping on the cot every opportunity you can, and you're looking for reasons not to do it. There's carryover to that. I don't think I did very well at all. I feel like I should have did more. My preparation wasn't good. You know, I just worked on just football. That wasn't really helpful at all going into the workout with Team Red, White, and Blue. There's gonna be guys that want to do as little as possible, and then there's the great ones. These are the ones we're all gonna follow the rest of our life. They're the ones that have the stuff, know they have the stuff, follow me, we'll get this done. And we saw quite a few of those in this mission. Come on, I had to bear crawl the 100 and bear crawl back. It was hard, but once we got the hang of it, we, no one could stop us. Shane Michelle wasn't the biggest recruit, not the biggest kid. Um, he just, he defines what like grit is. This is the beast mode mission. Being around the other 17 best quarterbacks in the country, it puts things into perspective. Coming from high school where I'm doing big things and I have a lot of success, but right now, you know, I'm just another guy. I'm fighting for that top spot. I'm fighting to get in the Elite 11 and getting this level, everything matters. Great effort, great toughness. The point here is help you reach your potential. The fitness part is huge. Don't be a knucklehead like me and don't take it serious. 
That's stuff that will change your life and help you change other people's lives for the better.